Yo, my dudes, you'll have 93 here, back from a very long hiatus and also in desperate need of a haircut. But yeah, sorry about that, guys. My entire resource library basically got wiped. So yeah, it took a long time, but we do have everything back to normal. Hopefully we can get back to making these guides as quickly as possible and getting you guys that information. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Hello everybody, Yulnam93 here, and thank you so much for coming back to the Character Breakdowns. Today we're going to be breaking down SR Alphonse Elric, the Freedom Faction Body Type Tank, the other character that you also get for free when you start your account. So, let's go ahead and begin this breakdown and tell you guys what exactly you can do with his kit, and also some of the augments that come into play later on when you build him up. Being the other unit a new player will receive at their account start, Alphonse, like his brother, is also a very simple unit, but he's very easy to use. This is great, especially for a player that might not want to do many pulls right out of the gate. Being the game's first tank, I suggest not tossing him away before you have a chance to build him out and see how he works for you. Alphonse Elric is a powerful all-around tank that packs a little bit of everything. He's got some close range, some AoE, a very handy ability most tanks use to extend their protection range, and also holds a very special distinction of being one of the few units that I know of that can manipulate an enemy unit's position on the field. Al's passive, Steel Armor, is fairly straightforward. He takes reduced physical damage. His passive will also give him 10% more damage output when either Al himself or an ally within two squares range use their ultimates. For his skill 1, Stone Fist Barrage, Alphonse transmutes a bevy of Stone Fists to assail the target one square in front of him. This attack deals pretty solid damage and also has a special distinction in being able to move the target one square back if they survive the assault and the space behind them is empty. This effect, especially in a position-based tactical RPG like this game, is fantastic, especially to position an enemy group for another teammate to come and hit them with an AoE. Stonefist Barrage also has the very nice perk of inflicting the target with a slow foot debuff if the target cannot be moved, which reduces the target's mobility after being hit. Alphonse's S1 augments give players the choice between some very interesting utility-based effects. Follow-up will increase the knockback distance from one square to two squares, meaning that you knock them back farther. The Hindrance augment, however, will make it so that way if the enemy cannot be knocked back, Alphonse will inflict slow foot two instead further decreasing the enemy's mobility. Alphonse skill 2 All-Out Defense is a fairly common ability with most body type tank units. All-Out Defense allows Al to jump in and defend an ally when they get attacked by an enemy from farther away than usual, to a maximum of two squares of protection instead of just one. He'll also increase his physical defenses by 10% while All-Out Defense is in effect. All-Out Defense's augments have a bit more of a factor to decide how you want your Alphonse to act, and are both solid options. The Soul Enhancement Augment boosts All Out Defense's physical protection to 20%, making Al harder to take down, while the Determination to Protect Augment boosts All Out Defense's counterattacks by 20%, making Al hit his aggressors even harder than he did before. The last thing we have to talk about is Alphonse's AoE Ultimate, Ground Running. Transmuting the Earth underneath himself, Alphonse will send up a ring of stone spikes in a one space-wide nova around himself, dealing AoE damage while also inflicting enemies with a slow foot to debuff. This severely impacts the enemy targets, taking away some of their movement when they try to reposition or escape after being hit. The augments offered for Al's ultimate do look a little on the one-sided side. You as the player have to decide if you want his ult to hit harder, or if you prefer him to be able to pop his ult ever so slightly more often. Steel Shell Thorns converts 30% of Al's current physical defense into physical attack for the damage calculations for ground running. Earth Resonance will reserve one ultimate bar after using ground running, making Alphonse able to use his ultimate more often. So to wrap things up, Alphonse, like his brother Edward, is very simple to pick up and play, seeing as you get him from the very start of your account. He's got very solid skills for a body type tank, and at the time of writing this, I haven't noticed any other unit that is able to control the enemy's location quite like Alphonse can, a few other units in the game being the exceptions. Alphonse, like his brother, boasts very good stats, just shy of placing him in the SSR range, 
His only downside, really, is that he's a little weaker to enemy spell attacks, so just keep that in mind when sending him out to battle. For free-to-play players, though, Alphonse is a solid unit that any new player can feel confident building, and he should be able to keep them going for quite a long while, at least until they decide to try for another tank. Okay, guys, that's about everything I have to tell you about SR Alphonse. He's a very, very strong unit for being very, very simplistic. If you guys have the opportunity to build him up because he will take you very far, I am still actually using him in my playthrough. And yeah, he's just reliable for what he does. He's also really, really powerful, and in fact, he can move units. But that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it every single time you do. And keep an eye on the channel because the next character guide I'm planning on going over is going to be covering the leading lady of FMA in SR Winry Rockbell, another free unit you can get on your account as long as you play it for a while. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys later. You guys take care out there. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next time. And yeah, I'll just see you when I see you. All right. Later, dudes. And peace.